Hello, this is Greg Gumkowski coming to you from ST DevCon 2019. Uh, today uh, we're highlighting one of our new STM32 products, our new G4 series mixed signal microcontroller. Uh, I'd like to show you a little bit about it. Uh, so if we look over here, uh, first new and exciting thing about it is performance. Uh, so for this uh, mixed signal processor with uh, high analog content, it's bringing a very high performance, more similar to what you would see on one of our high performance products. Uh, you can see um, over here 170 megahertz uh, Cortex M4 uh, for the core to give you high performance out of the core. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, offering uh, some accelerators. Uh, so this is kind of a new exciting part uh, where the accelerators are bringing to us uh, not only faster processing but allowing the CPU to do other things while they're running. Uh, so the first one is the ART accelerator. This is our first. Uh, mainstream product with the ART Accelerator, which is uh, sitting between the flash memory and the core and offering you close to zero weight state uh, performance running out of the flash memory. Uh, that's illustrated over here on the graph. Also, we also have a routine booster, which is our core coupled, tightly coupled memory uh, that you can execute uh, your most critical code out of. Uh, this is a feature we carried over from our F3 series. And the new and exciting accelerators are our math accelerators. This includes a Cordic and an FMAC. Uh, if we take a little bit closer look at those, we see the Cordic is offering a hardware accelerator for trigonomic functions. Uh, this can be very useful for applications such as motor control, where we're doing lots of sine and cosine, different kinds of transforms, like Park and Clark transforms. Um, and this can run much faster than you can do it in the software, uh, and also freeing up uh, the core to do other things uh, while that's running. Uh, the second one is called a filter math accelerator. This is uh, what we call the FMAC. And the FMAC uh, is uh, supporting uh, different filtering functions. So uh, you can see a couple of examples here, an FIR filter or an IIR filter. And these filters uh, sometimes can have a very large amount of taps and uh, can take a very long time to run. Um, having the hardware accelerator, uh, of course, offloads the, the CPU to do other things uh, while these uh, math uh, filters are running. Um, a good example of uh, the use case for this would be in a digital power supply uh, where there's a commonly a, what they call a three-pole, three-zero compensator, and you can run that uh, using the FMAC uh, to offload the CPU. The uh, other exciting area of the G4 is in the peripheral set. So um, what we can see is, the, in particular, the analog. The G4 is bringing the richest set of analog of any STM32 microcontroller. Uh, offering the most analog content and the highest performance analog. Uh, we can see on here uh, many things in bold that are improved, uh, faster, better uh, analog features on this particular product. The uh, last thing we'd like to talk about is the ecosystem. So uh, for the G4 series, we have our traditional Nucleo and evaluation boards, uh, but we're also bringing some new uh, specialized kits. Uh, the first one is the motor control pack. So we have a new motor control pack that includes a G4 processing uh, board, a nucleo board, a uh, ST-SPIN uh, power board, and a gimbal-type uh, three-phase uh, brushless DC motor. This all comes in one pack, uh, so it's very uh, easy to use, very quick to get started if you want to do advanced motor control development. Uh, the other new kit we're offering is our discovery kit. Uh, in particular, our digital power discovery kit, which we show over here. Uh, this kit is uh, showing off a few new things. Uh, it's showing the high resolution timer to have very fine control of this RGB LED light. Uh, it also includes a buck boost converter, uh, which we uh, can use the FMAC, for example, uh, to implement a digital switch mode power supply with. Uh, so these are just a, a few things um, that I'd like to highlight today about the G4 series. Uh, but I would encourage you to visit us on SD.com to learn more.